firefighting. See if neighbors need help. Lock up pits. When a cyclone comes, remain calm and stay inside. Keep a window open on the side away from the wind and remember if the wind drops suddenly, the calm eye of the cyclone is probably overhead. As the wind will soon resume abruptly with equal violence from another direction. and you know I said afterwards that we were better off than others outside because there was just nothing they've just lost everything I didn't think any of us would be here in the morning I honestly didn't you don't know me and you won't see me in this film but I was sent up to Darwin two days after the cyclone hit to cover and record the extent of the devastation and the effect of the disaster on people's lives frankly I don't think that I've been very successful what could I have filmed that could really communicate to you the almost inconceivable extent of the destruction? I help you to understand the feelings of the city's population who emerged from what was left of their houses on Boxing Day to find their world destroyed. Their city was like a rubbish dump and they had nothing left. For a few days they had no safe water, no certain food, few possessions except for the clothes they were wearing. But now things are getting better. They're cleaning up the mess and sorting themselves out. Even so, no one really knows what the future holds for them. is back on. Everyone's just marvellous, I think. Everyone's got in and helped and given things and it's just tremendous. That is, it's tremendous what everyone's done, I think. What's that? And he said, it's only the wind going through the eaves, but it was the roof going, you know. It just it didn't want to frighten me, I suppose. And then more came, we moved to uh, the bathroom, which had just gone. So then we moved to the third bedroom and just 
huddled against the wall and just stay there the night sort of thing and that was it just hoped for the best and just prayed and that was uh, i suppose everyone's in the same boat these few scenes can't really let you know what it's like up there the fact is that the people of a city have lost everything and i feel that somehow we all have to try to understand what that means got what they're staying at and I've got a little bit of underwear and a little bit what we could salvage and a few old frocks and that'll do us. And I'm for sure that people will rally and help us all. But it's such a mess. I truly want to stay with my husband. I've got to go with my boy. But I'm not crying for me, I'm just crying for Darwin. They've just, they've just got to pioneer again and start from scratch. Island about midnight this evening. Three destructive winds of 120 kilometers. 